Sure, let's just jump right from coal mining to submarine technology. I can't see a reason not to. You know what? You want a submarine dock? I want you to have a submarine dock. Everybody's happy about that. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today checking out Oxygen, where it's the end of the world and we've got to build another colony, but it's not nuclear fallout or being underwater or zombies or mutants or aliens. This time our problem is, as the title might imply, oxygen. It's a little tough to breathe around old planet Earth these days, so we're going to see if we can build a new colony without choking to death. Now, we did the prologue for this, Oxygen First Breath, I believe it was called, uh, a while ago during one of the Steam Next Fests, and we had a good time with that. I wanted to just quickly poke my nose back in and see what the rest of Oxygen has for us. I did receive a key to this from the developers. I'm going to take a moment to thank them for sending this along so we can check it out again on the channel. There is, of course, a link to their Steam page down below. So if you want to go check out Oxygen for yourself, that's where you can go ahead and do that. I am going to, as is traditional, completely blow off the tutorial and bank on my knowledge from the prologue I did months ago and just jump right into a new game. Okay, let's just, as we do, slam it into pause mode here so I can get a grip on everything. We got some people. There's us all desperately trying not to choke to death around here. And as I recall, yeah, my oxygen center. So this is where they're going to go to, like, refill their oxygen tanks. And I think while they're standing around here, they don't have a problem with oxygen. What else have we got going on? Like, what is this? That's my storage. Okay. And that is almost maxed out. We've got, well, a bunch of fries. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, there's french fries in the post-apocalypse. I'm already a fan. We got some canned fish, some fish, tomatoes. Okay, so we could make ketchup for the fries. And we've got potatoes so we can make extra french fries. This is a very french fry based apocalypse, and I am 100% okay with that. Metal, metal planks, gears, stuff basically, stones, brick, plastic. We seem to have a little bit of an assortment of everything. Now over here, we got like a ruined building we could scavenge, and that would allegedly get us 120 gears over time. Nobody's working here right now. I could put some workers in there. We may come to that in a second. Over here, we could get some Kevlar, some stone, some gear. All of that's kind of neat. And of course, trees. Yeah, so here's the thing, as I remember from the prologue, and I'm really stretching my memory. Um, trees, now I, I'm no arborist. Trees produce oxygen. So we're going to want a bunch of those, seeing as it's kind of the nature of the game. So before I do anything at all, and even go to my tasks menu, I'm going to put somebody on taking care of this Deodar, Deodar, you tell me. Anyway, the cedar tree. Let's go ahead and put one person working on the tree. And you know what? While we're here, let's get another tree going on. Okay, what do you need me to do here? Let's start with the basic need, water, food, and housing. Now, I can decline this. I can just say, no, I don't feel like doing your tutorial task. I usually do. I just don't usually get a penalty for it. Well, I mean, I get a penalty in the sense that the game just crashes and collapses and says all of your colonists are dead. But we got confidence. How, how confident are people in me right now? Can I sort of get a picture on that? It's probably up here somewhere. Nobody has any houses. There's some babies. I don't know how confident babies are in anything that I'm doing. I don't immediately see it, so I'm just going to go ahead and blindly accept this. Container houses, you want five. You want a fishing dock, a water purifier, and a canteen. Okay, now these things, which cause me no end of grief, these cracks in the earth here, this is going to explode in half a day. And we could build a gas extra extractor to prevent explosions, but we can't because we don't actually know how to do that yet. We've got a very limited amount of things that we're able to do. So container house. Okay, we can get that done. Food and water. There's my canteen, my fishing dock, and my water purifier. How about resources? What do we got there? My storage and then a whole bunch of resource processing centers, a quarry, a metalworks. Energy. All right, there's my gas extractor right there. Can't do it. Need research. Don't got it. Can I get research? Can we do research? How about technology? I could theoretically make the research center. Okay, here's, here's my plan. I'm going to, for the moment, for the moment, go along with their little tutorial, let's build a house so people aren't whining about places to live thing. I'm going to slap that down. Uh, no, slap that down. Actually, you know what? Bring that along here. You know, I liked your idea the first time. Go ahead, Oxygen. Bring that. Oh, no, no. Bring bring it. Bring it along here. Somebody will get to that at some point. Uh, keep building roads. Build that one over to here. I don't even know what this is. It's a thing we can demolish. Great. Good. And they just jump right into that. Yeah, they're wicked excited to build roads right now. So housing, container house. 
Okay, let's get a few of these going here. You wanted five. I might even build you a couple extras if I've got it. Uh, where, where would you, there you go. Sit there and you, can you sit right there? No, not quite. You can sit there though. And you could sit over here and you could sit over here. I'm probably doing this horribly wrong by taking them out of the basic oxygen center here, but they're going to have to learn to cope, frankly. And I'm just going to get the road to go kind of all wrapping around the oxygen center. I can only assume, having played a few colony builders in my time, that roads make them move faster and therefore they'll be slightly more efficient, etc, etc, etc. So put you over here. I won't bother about a road over there for right now. Okay, I know... I, I know several things. I know this is going to blow up soon. When is this one going to blow up? Come here. Come come here. 3.4 days. Okay, neat. Good. We'll look forward to that. Um, I would like to get... Let's do the canteen. That seems sensible. People have somewhere to eat. Why don't we spin you around? We put you kind of right smack in the middle here. Okay, right smack in the middle. And then... Uh, yeah, I've got a road going over to there. Did I not put a road there? Or have they already built that road? You know what? It'll it'll all be fine. Everything is fine. Uh, so, fishing dock and water purifier. That's obviously going to go out by the water because that's where the fish live. What was the other thing you wanted? What was your thing? No, come here. Come here. Everybody go away except you. Uh, canteen, fishing dock, and water purifier. Okay. Well, then I am going to put up the research center then. Because if we can build it, I'm going to build it. We're going to need some research pretty soon. Oh, hang on. Is there an event? Oh, we, we've just constructed the container house. Okay, good. I should probably keep an eye on this sort of thing. Inadequate living space. We're dealing with that right now. That's all fine. Can I make all of this go away? I can. Good. I like making things go away. Uh, let's make uh, a road. And then let's take that road right out to the water. Because that's where the, the fish thing lives. Uh, so let's get that to there. And then let's do water, fishing dock. Now, how do you want to go? I assume your road is there. Okay, okay, okay. We can put you just like that. That'll work out fine. Why don't we put the water purifier thing right next to it? I can't see a sensible reason not to do that. So you can live right there. And I'm just going to kind of let them get on with that. That's a lot of stuff for them to be doing right now. So I'm just going to let them tick along. This thing's going to blow up momentarily. Momentarily. It's just, it's just going to explode. Um, now, what else could I be doing? I could start scavenging. I could, how's the tree going? Are you doing good with the tree? I see you're watering the tree. Maybe maybe aim for the tree rather than just spraying the water into the air. We haven't built a new water purifier yet. You know that, right? Well, there seemed to be a lot of good stuff in this building. Okay, ah, so I can specify what they're going to get. So they can go get gears or stone or Kevlar or all of the above. Well, why don't you... How many people do I have? 17 adults. And I'm going to need people to work in these places. And then, again, like any colony builder, I'm going to need free people who can just move stuff around and build stuff. Don't don't walk too close to this. It's going to explode in 3.1 days. Um, I'm going to put, I don't know, like one, one of each in there. Okay? Just to get some stuff. That's all. Just to get some stuff. What's going on down here? Metal. Okay. That'd probably be really handy. Well, you know, we'll see what we run out of. Oh, yeah, that blew up. Yep, that, yep, that, that has blown up. Area can't be used until the crack disappears. I remember these being very fussy when I played the prologue of this. I remember not really feeling I had a good running start to get this under control. But then again, I, I kind of didn't put the research center up quickly in the last one. So maybe this will help. So let's put, I don't know, maybe like two researchers in there. Now, I see your O2 is red. Turn on the oxygen generator. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Yeah, no, we should totally do that. No, no, turn turn on the oxygen generators. Yeah, we should, we should breathe. I'm just going to put, well, I can only put one person in the canteen. So, Alia, you're going to do canteen work there. How are we doing over here with the fishing and the water purifier? We're getting there. Things are happening. And we're moving over. We're starting to get some stuff out of here. You're working on this tree over here. Now, as I I believe, the trees are going to have like an oxygen radius. And when we're under that oxygen radius, basically, we're cool, more or less. I'm sure there's a lot of other game mechanics behind the phrase, we're cool, more or less. But that's what I'm going with. More trees, the better. In fact, I think I can plant trees. I think, I, yeah, I can, I can actually just put a tree up. Looks like I've got... Three out of four right now. Hmm. There's a limit to how many I can put up. 
So here, here's my, here's the more mechanics behind we're cool, more or less. People don't get sick during winds, don't consume oxygen tanks, tanks under a tree dome. They require a lot of water. Okay, during a rainy or snowy day, they don't require water. Okay, so it's better if we have trees, is really what I'm hearing out of the scenario here. Boy, they do take up a lot of space. They do. I'm going to put one here. That seems like a good place. Oh, it's raining. Oh, put it up quickly. We won't need rain on it. I will put a worker in there, though. Um, can I see up here how many people are doing what? One's doing food and water. Two are doing tech. Three are doing trees. How about the people who are scavenging? Do those not count? Probably those don't count. Those are just generic jobs that anyone does. Now, is there anything I can research? What's going on here? I've got a total of five points right now. Neat. Okay. And let's see what have we got. Special. Plant house. Oh, these are these are special, special. Okay, focus on the task at hand. How about we start with easy? And it looks like I couldn't even jump to medium until I've got 250 points. So nothing I can do here. I've got five points. I need 180 just to get a cafe. Where is the, um, where's the thing where the things don't explode? I'd be very interested in those. No, wait, I'm very interested in faster French fry production. Okay, guys, we need 1,800 points, and we also probably need to research literally everything else on this tree so we can get faster French fries. I feel that's very, very important. So where is coal mine, metal, or gas extractor? Okay, it's actually only 15. Huh. All right, great. So we could actually get that fairly quickly. Good deal. All right, well, these two things are up and running, the fishing pier and the water pier. And for that, I've got eight confidence, some metal, and some stone. Okay, those are all promising things. Slow it down a little bit there. Well, let's get some people working in here for a start. Let's get some fish, and let's get some purified water. Uh, no new uh, adults yet, huh? No, of course not. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slow burn on this research center here. So every tick of the cycle here is going to be five research points. I I guess I'll put another worker over there. Ezra, Bobby, and Margo, you're all, you guys are going to have to kind of make this come together. Now, I've got ten. I've got five more than when I started. Oh, yeah, that that's slow. I wonder if you can put up multiples. Can I put up multiple research buildings? If I go to my research, is that grayed out or can I do this? No, I could, looks like I could theoretically do it. Yeah, so I could have multiple research buildings. Uh, I'm sorry, talk to me about decorations. What do we got? Uh, I've got a new task. That's cool, I'm looking at decoratives. Uh, we've got a st- Oh, wow. Is that like a confidence thing? Are people like wicked psyched if I put this up? Uh, four people can visit at a time. Each br visit brings plus four. I'm assuming confidence because it says increase their confidence level. Okay. Uh, well, we definitely need this because it's the only decorative I have an option for. So that's what's going to live here. We'd love to get this kind of centrally located. How about we did this next to the science center? It looks vaguely sciencey. It probably should go there. What is what is the problem here? Let's generate electricity. Sure. Yeah, that that sounds admirable. Six days to do it. I think my guys in the research center should have that up and running by then. Yeah, that should be no problem. Okay. So these people are going to vote on me, are they? Huh? A vote? A vote of confidence, you say? Target is level five. Well, it looks like we're maybe level two right now. Is that how I'm reading that? And what what have I done? What's been my track record so far? People are seem to be pretty cool about the buildings that I put up. That's nice. There's my star, and there's my big tick right there. People are psyched about my little golden yellow star there. Uh, not so much on the trees, but we're still working on those. Task performance seems to be very good. I am ticking off my little tasks here. We haven't done any exploration yet. Okay, so I could get kicked out is what I'm he seeing here. I've already done the research center. Now I need to do the gas extractor. I don't suppose in the time I was talking to you guys. Oh, you did. You, got, you guys got a lot of points going on. How did you get 20 that quickly? I feel that should only have been 15... Maybe I had it in high speed mode more than I thought. Uh, regardless, let's get this cooking along here. So gas extractor. All right, yep, that's going to cost me 30 gears and 25 plastic to construct it. Yes, I absolutely want to unlock that. Thank you very much. Now, these ones I can't put anything on, but that one I could. That one I could right there. So give me a, uh, a gas extractor, please. Let's put this guy right here. And if you guys could kind of... Can I prioritize this? Can I say this is the highest... Pri yes, I can. Okay, make that, I mean, there's, they're not doing anything else, but make that max priority, please. And then I've got to produce or gather coal. Okay, well, there's a coal deposit right there. I can build a coal mine. 
All right, so I'm not gonna be able to produce it. Is there somewhere where I can just gather it? Maybe one of these little sites here possibly has some coal in it. Metal planks, plastic, metal deposit. Can I send people to that? Uh, not as such, I need a metal processing plant. Did anyone leave a whole bunch of, wow, there's food over here. Did anyone leave a whole bunch of food in any of these buildings? Because I feel it's going to be a long time before I'm getting a coal plant. I say that. How long is it going to be before I get a coal plant? There's a coal mine right here for 50. Okay. And I've got 10. I've only got a limited amount of time to do this. So again, is there anyone who maybe left a huge pile of coal before the apocalypse that I could get down with? Uh, there's another tree over there. I'll have to have a think about that one. Plastic gears. It's not looking likely metal planks fish i should send people over to get this food ah, this just keeps going and going i'm way down here holy moly there's a, a lot of buildable area going on down here oh, there's like a little train tracks that's kind of cool um oh is that a boat can I oh i can scavenge the boat Ooh, that's really really far away from where we are right now i don't see it if it's here i don't see it i don't see ah coal 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 coal, coal right there Found it. Never mind. I do see it. Yeah, put Keanu. I assume Keanu Reeves. I can only imagine that he survived the apocalypse. And Gia. Keanu Reeves and Gia. You guys are going to go scavenge some coal. I know it's a, it's a bit of a shock to Keanu Reeves, but hey, that's what you get for surviving the apocalypse. Okay, so this, this exists. Okay, it's going to generate electricity for 15 days. Are we therefore generating electricity or do I need to run like wires to that or something? Gas extractor. Okay, I don't see anything. I have an unlocked battery. I don't see anything that says I need to run wires from A to B. That wouldn't be in roads by any chance, would it? No. No. Ooh, lighted roads. Oh, that's going to be fun. We'll put some lights on around the place. Oh, you want two gas extractors. I should have seen the little number that says two. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really work that out for you, man. I don't have any other cracks in the earth here. I mean, I got these ones, but I can't put anything on that. Um, I gotta, I gotta wait for a new one to open up. Uh, okay, we might not be able to get this done. I don't have unlimited time to do this. Although, the days do move pretty slowly. That being said, I might actually have enough time to put all of that together. Yeah, and it looks like with that gas extractor, we're still losing energy, but not as much. So, it's not neutral, but, you know, we are not quite hemorrhaging as much as we... Or before, this is going to get fussy. Energy. Oh, hi, there's one right there. There's no way I'm getting over there in time. Actually, 3.3 days. Hang on, hang on. I might be able to get over there. 3.3 days before you're going to blow up, huh? Okay. I bet you we could get that done in 3.3 days. How about we did a gas extractor right here? And then let's super high prioritize that, please. Highest possible priority, if you could. Thank you so much. And while they've got all that going on, I'm just going to put up a, another house just for something to... Yes, I know we did that. Thank you. I, we, oh, did we do all the things on that? Oh, good for me. I'm very good about that. I'm going to put up another house uh, just so people have places to go because we're kind of tapped out on housing right now. Let's put one there and one there. And then I, I know there's probably other tasks I'm supposed to be doing right now, but I'm kind of hyper focused on uh, this largely. So build this and then give me a road like this that please okay now what does that do for our energy yeah we're still kind of hemorrhaging energy there how are we going to make that happen i'm going to need to research stuff i've built up quite a few points since then so i could get my coal mine immediately coal mine will lead to metal processing which will lead to the quarry okay signal tower no i'm not going to sweat that right now how about a, a tailor he had protective clothing for people. That's probably a good thing. Now, stick stick to your guns here. Energy is obviously going to be a problem. Obviously. And then again, that can lead right into metal processing. I've only got 15 left, and I'm going to need a whole bunch of stuff before I'm going to do anything else. So, can I now get into the coal mining game? Energy. Uh, give me energy. Coal mine? Or is that resources? That's probably resources. Yeah, coal mine. All right. So this looks like this is going to consume Energy consumption if the oxygen generator is activated. Okay. Hmm. But coal is a good thing. We should probably have this. I mean, a water turbine sounds like the way to go here, and solar panels. But boy, that is... That's not a small amount of research points there. 
So how do I turn the coal mine into power? That's, that's what I'm not immediately following here. So batteries, gas extractors, I get all of that. I'm looking for coal power plant. That's basically what I'm, I'm trying to find here. Submarine dock. Yes, subs come in here somewhere. Institute, what's that? Produces more research points. Oh, good. That will be handy. I don't really have the population to justify that right now. Well, what the heck? I'm going to put a coal mine up. Because you know what? Why not? Why not? You can't have enough... I mean, our problem is, in fact, that we can't breathe. So we're going to put up a, a choking, disgusting coal mine. Because if there's one thing you can say about coal mines, clean energy, not an issue. And if we're going to be getting our own coal, I'm going to pull Keanu Reeves off of coal and put you onto, say, metal planks instead. That's probably handy. How much fish do we produce here? Three per cycle. I've only got one person in here. What I should do is just go get the obvious food that is just sitting here. There's canned fish right here. Just go get canned fish. I don't suppose anyone left french fries out, did they? I got another one of these things over here. I may as well just slap the extractor thing on it, right? I mean, that that's sensible. I got the power right there, and I'll stop them exploding later. Any others going on around here? This seems a very haphazard and very temporary way to gain power, but what the heck? They're there, and they're only going to blow up if I leave them alone. Again, I want to touch base with the concept of how. what do I do with the coal? How do I make that into energy? It just does, it doesn't seem to be here. I would like to get to battery. That would be good. Not that we're saving power, but, you know, we kind of have the idea of maybe that might be a thing we do. Metal processing core, metalworks, gear, workshop, bricks, Kevlar, and plastic. Nope, not seeing it. Well, I guess we'll put someone to work in the coal mine. Andre, you're in a coal mine now. Well, I'm going to put one of you there because I'm not really sure what we're going to do with the coal that we get. Maybe I can get, can I get an idea here? Could you, okay, so gas energy, we're generating six per hour. Coal, I understand coal. Does it just automatically go in here? Is this, is this effectively a coal plant? Keanu's in here. Good for you, Keanu. Okay, so yeah, this is effectively its own coal power plant. Coal is going in, and then, I don't know, power comes out. I'm not really sure how, how power works. I'm not so much on, on electricity. Oxygen generators, tell me. You're fueling the canteen, the dock, the purifier, the coal mine, the research center. Fair enough. No, nope, hang on, we got something new to do. What's your problem here? Let's build a sub. Okay, cool. Sure, let's just jump right from coal mining to submarine technology. I can't see a reason not to. You know what? You want a submarine dock? I want you to have a submarine dock. Everybody's happy about that. Uh, what is that? Is that technology? Yeah, submarine dock. We're getting subs. Oh, wait, what are we missing for that? Metal? Oh, okay, no, we have metal. They just haven't moved it over here yet. Got all, all nervous there. It was something we didn't know how to make, but no, no, we, we got that around there somewhere. Uh, make this go like this. Yeah, there we go. That works. And, yeah, metal. Uh, show me, actually, show me my materials. So, metal planks, yes. Stone gears, Kevlar, uniforms. Huh. Why not actually have metal? Interesting. Can I get metal? There's metal over here. Go, somebody go get that. Keanu Reeves, you are so... What a productive member of the community you are. And what a stand-up guy. You know, you have starred in multi-million dollar epic movies that we all love. We all love you, Keanu Reeves. The apocalypse comes along. Nobody can breathe. And you're like, no, 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 guys. I will go get the metal out of the shack. No, no, no. Just because I'm a huge star and you've loved me in so many movies, I'm still going to go ahead and... No, except for that Constantine movie. No, I know. I know. That was a terrible movie. An abomination to the character of Constantine. But apart from that one, we loved you in everything. I'm still going to go get the metal out of the shack. Now, what happens to these in 12.2 days when they just stop generating energy? I, I can only assume we just demolish them, get some of our material. Is that the TARDIS? Is that... That's not me, right? That That's legit the TARDIS. I... Okay. Um, I was not expecting Doctor Who to be involved in this game, but that's clearly the TARDIS. Now, we're running into a bit of a problem of labor. Okay, so people don't really have time to be going to do all of this stuff. Um, how about we just didn't bother with, say, the Kevlar? You know what? We're fine. And don't bother with the stone for right now. Just take everyone off of this. There's 
three free workers right there because this one has not even been built yet and now I want to put one over here. I would also love it if we knew which doctor it was because I have my preferences. I mean, obviously Tom Baker is going to be number one. Of course he is. But I'm really also, my heart is with Peter Davison because that's the doctor that I grew up with. That was like my Doctor Who. So if somebody wants to pop their head out of there and tell me which doctor we're talking about, all right, I'm going to throw one of these gas extractors down anyway. Uh, and then hopefully at some point somebody will get to all of these things that I'm asking them to do. Again, a bit of a labor shortage right now. That's where we're, they're not even getting the roads built. Uh, producer gather plastic. Okay, that should not be hard. Uh, somewhere around here, there's got to be, got to be, there we go. It's plastic right there. Is anyone else working in here? Metal planks out of here. Uh, no, skip that. And skip the coal, because we're making our own. Just go get some plastic, please. I'm going to put someone on this side of the map gathering metal out of this building, too, just to try and hustle it up a little bit on the submarine dock here. There's another crack that's opened. I Do I want to keep going down the line here? I mean, I do need the energy. That's the thing. I really need the energy. I guess. I what is? Uh, remind me what the materials are. Some gear and some plastic. Okay, let's put one up. I don't have a whole lot of faith they're going to be able to get all the way down there and get that done. Ah, but here they are. They're coming all the way down there to get that done. Good job, guys. Ooh, also, um, I've just been quietly accumulating a whole bunch of science points that I've not been paying attention to. What can I do with this? Not much. Metal processing. That's cool. Um, I don't actually have the metal to process it yet or make the processor. I might... I think I'm just going to keep collecting the points. Because anything else I want is pretty, um, pretty expensive on the points thing. Could just get this stone out of here for doing it. Get some gears out of there. What is everyone up to these days? You're kind of over here. How are we doing on gathering the plastic? We got 12 out of 15. Has anyone put any metal over here? We have not. I'm pretty sure Keanu Reeves is hastily gathering metal. If you guys wanted to maybe put it over in the submarine dock, that'd be cool. What is the problem? Who's thirsty? Oh, the tree is thirsty. Well, water the tree, man. That is literally your only job. You, come here, Jad. Your only job is to water this tree. That's it. Are we not producing enough purified water? I got four coming in per cycle. All right. Oh, yeah, we are out of water. Oh, never mind, Jad. My bad. We're completely out of water. Well, let's put some more people in here then. Uh, how about there's three people working in the water purifier rather than just one? One guy in a bucket is not not getting this colony what it needs in terms of water. So sorry about that, Jad. Uh, so sorry. Uh, yeah, we're working on the sub dock. I know. What is this? Decoration. I've done it. I did it. Yeah, accept that. I've done it. Thank you. I've already done that. Uh, oh, gather more metal. Sure. Yeah, I mean, Keanu Reeves is on that. Don't worry about it. Well, maybe my move, then, is another water purifier before we get too much farther here, because otherwise, um, you know, we're all going to die. Forget the whole dying of no oxygen nonsense. I think we're we'll to be slightly concerned about real fundamentals like food and water. Uh, I know, oxygen is a fundamental. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not dismissing oxygen. I'm not being mean to oxygen. I'm just saying we also need to drink water. And if I'm not going to be doing research quite as quickly as I thought, I'm going to back somebody off of the research center so they can go do other things like moving things. We can't seem to get any metal over here. We are gathering it. It is technically happening. It's just happening very slowly. So I'm going to take that person I just backed off and put them into metal production here or metal scavenging, whatever it may be. You go away. How are we doing? Uh, 18 out of 20 on that metal. And this sub base ain't coming together anytime soon. Uh, yes, I've, oh, well, there's some metal right there. I got metal for getting metal. Oh, was that a smart move, guys? You took the metal we just got, and instead of putting all of it into one building, you split it between the two buildings. Was that smart? Maybe finish one thing that we're doing. Oh, look, we've got a little tree dome. Oh, are you like a healthy tree? Can't be that healthy. You got 1% vitality. Oh no, your cycle produces 1% vitality. You're actually 80% vitality eyes or um... Seven, what's the problem with your tree? Why does your tree suck? It's only 52% vital. Look at Jad's tree over here. His has a big dome around it. Does your tree have a big dome around it, Seven? No, it does not. It's only 52% vital. Even our brand new tree is doing better than your tree. Why do you suck at trees, Seven? Why do you hate me? Well, good news, team. We've got a submarine dock now. I don't think we actually have a submarine. There's no upcoming submarine. Okay. So we don't have a submarine, but somebody else does. Why specifically submarine? Why not just a boat? 
Probably because the whole hard to breathe thing. Apparently it's gonna get windy, and that's probably very, very bad. Because we know that only people under the trees can survive the winds. I don't know what any of this means. I assume it's going to be some sort of like toxic wind or something like that. Wind is coming in 2.9 days. All right, we're still... Ah, we also need to build a medical outpost to prepare for this. Do I know how to do that? Is that maybe community? Medical post. Oh, we probably should add one of these up ages ago. Sorry, colonists. I'm not really so quick with those things. Anything else I'm lacking in here while I'm talking about? Is there anything we haven't built. Okay, gas extractor, we've done that. Medical, I've done my only decoration. Can't put any other trees. Apparently that's the limit of the amount of trees. Uh, oh, hang on, what's your problem here? What's the deal? Uh, let's build more gas extractors. Uh, yeah, sure, broadly. All right, so we already done the gas extractor part. We just need to get some gears. Okay, well, put somebody over here into gear gathering production-y things kind of thing, because I certainly can't make them by myself. And I'll peel off a couple of people around here that I can find to help out with that. Oh, also, we're about to run out of food as well. Why are we not fishing as much? Okay, here, have another fishing person. Uh, you know what, Dave, you said many times there's a ton of food around the map. That, there you go. It's 126 canned fish over here. You've already got somebody working on it, too. Ah, I'm out of people. I got no one to add to this. Everybody has a job at this point. Well, Jad's tree continues to do super, super well. I mean, just great job with the tree, Jad. This is just 89% vitality. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's having a good time with the tree. Uh, you'll survive the winds. I don't think anyone else will. We still, again, have no water. Uh, we are running out of food. And I don't need... I don't have any people. I need, like, a huge population boom to happen tomorrow morning, really, if we're going to get anything done around here at all. We haven't even finished the new water purifier yet, although we are almost done with that. Problem is, though, I've got no one to work there, so that's a bit of an issue. So I think that, guys, that's where we're going to call it a day on oxygen. Uh, not because we're all going to die. I want to stress that. Uh, it's a decent game. I'm just, here's what I'm doing playing oxygen. I'm sort of sitting here um, saying, why am I playing this? And not 10 games that are in my Steam library that are effectively the same thing. And that's not a slam. This is a perfect game for somebody. Um, it's just that I've already got this game under several other names. What is your problem? There's a sub coming. Four people will join us. Well, there's my population boom. That will be a big help. But that's where kind of I'm at with Oxygen. I'm not really inclined to keep playing it because I have this game. I, I have 10 games that are effectively the same thing. Uh, in various states of apocalypse. Nuclear annihilation, underwater, you pick it. I've got the apocalypse for you, so I don't I don't really see me personally coming back to Oxygen. But I would like to know what you guys think, so do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Oxygen. And hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.